Mutter Nation, we spent all season showing you all the different ways that we can train for probably the toughest event on the planet. But now, just days before world's toughest mutter, it's time to maximize that training. I've got a couple tools that'll help you with your mobility. So let's mobilize. Merrill Mobility Ball, Foam Roller. My good friend, the stick. I'm gonna give you three tips for each of these tools to help maximize your mobility and get you ready to rock and roll. One of my favorite tools is this Merrill Mobility Ball. Super small, compact, easy to travel with, and really gonna help out in a pinch. Tip number one, we're going after our VMO. Lying on our stomachs, we're gonna place this ball above the knee and to the inside. We're then gonna apply pressure downward onto the ball. You can then bring your ankle towards your butt and back, looking for little special spots, spots that talk to you. Get on that spot, try to relax, go to your happy place. Tip number two, a super important spot, glute medius. We're gonna lay on our sides, pretending like we're on a photo shoot. We're gonna place this beautiful ball underneath our gluteus and then we're gonna apply pressure. We can then take that lower leg up and down through a range of motion, again, searching for that special spot, the spot that talks to you. When you find it, relax and enjoy the ride. Tip three, the Terry's. I know you've been doing a lot of pull-ups, so we have to make sure that we unglue our lats from our armpits. There is a magic button on the outside of the armpit, right where the lat connects. You're gonna place this magic marrow ball right in there and slowly apply pressure. The more pressure, the better off you're gonna be in the long run. The IT van is tight on so many athletes. Why? Because it sucks to go to. So we need to go there. Uh, beforehand, during, after the event, hit these IT bands. What you're gonna do again is lie on your side and roll in between your knee and your hip. Take the time while you're rolling out at World's Toughest Mudder to go to your happy place. Put a smile on your face, relax, rest, remember why you're there. A positive attitude is potentially the biggest tip of them all. Tip two, the cap. We know we're gonna be in and out of cold water for World's Toughest Mudder. We know that we're gonna be jogging and then calling on our bodies for explosive energy. So those calves are really gonna take their toll. So mobilizing our calves beforehand, the night before, the weeks before, the day before, the day of, and during the event is gonna be monumental. So we're gonna sit on our butts, we're gonna place our calf on the foam roller, and then we can take the other leg on top to apply pressure. Then we're gonna roll from our Achilles up to behind the knee, and back and forth there, making sure that we loosen this guy up. Tip three, lower back with the foam roller. As the night gets long, we're gonna tighten up. You're gonna feel it in your low back. So when you're taking a nutrition break inside your tent, you can lay on that back, go from the top of the glutes down to the bottom of the shoulder and go back and forth. Loosen up and get back on that course. What's that over there? It's me, coach, reminding you not to drop out for something as silly as a little cramp. Tip number one with the stick is our outer calf, often tight on a lot of running athletes. We can do this from a standing position. As soon as we roll into the pits, grab onto the stick and roll from the outside of the knee down to the ankle, back and forth. Blast this guy out, loosen it up, get back on course. Tip number two, the inner thigh. A difficult spot to get to, but not that hard for my stick. We're gonna go inner thigh just above the knee and work it all the way up to the groin. Going back and forth here, making sure that we stay nice and loose and firing in those upper legs. Tip three, rectus femoris. That's the top of our quad. This guy's gonna get tightened up throughout the night and start pulling on our knees. So let's make sure we keep it loose. Start just above the knee and work all the way up to our hips. Working back and forth in here, staying supple, my muddy friends. 
I've just shared a handful of tips with these small tools that are great accessories in your pit. And remember to remind your pit to remind you to stay mobilized. We don't want you dropping out for something as silly as a little cramp. We'll see you all in the desert, moments away. You just got codified.